Hi, I'm Valder Beebe. I'm the host and the visionary of the Valder Beebe Show, God Talk. Some people talk to God and others believe that God talks to them. Join us in conversation with authors, religious clergy, metaphysicians, and regular people like you and I and God Talk. God Talk is a podcast available on FM Radio, Roku TV, and online. Subscribe at ValderBBShow.com. You can also subscribe at YouTube.com slash ValderBBShow. Join the conversation of God Talk. I'll see you there. Good day and welcome back to the Valder BB Show. My next guest is Maitri Johnson. She's the Vice President of Tenant and Employment Screening at TransUnion. She's here to talk about how COVID-19 and remote work is reshaping the U.S. rental market. Maitri, welcome to the Valder BB Show for the first time. Thank you so much for having me here, Valder. So there's changes in the rental market? Yes, yes, most certainly. So we um, uh, we just did a study um, to um, validate a hypothesis we had, which is that renters did a lot of moving during the COVID period. A um, lot of U-Haul trucks on the highways across America over the last two years. Um, and so we, when we looked at our database and saw uh, and analyzed our renter database, um, we were able to actually put a number against that migration that we thought was happening across the U.S. with renters. Um, And we actually saw 42%, it's almost half of all of our renter applications in our database, that moved from one geography to another and actually moved out of state. Um, And this was largely driven by the fact that renters no longer had to be in that live-work environment anymore where if I was in downtown Dallas, working in downtown Dallas, for example, I didn't have to actually have an apartment in downtown Dallas anymore because of the work from home that came on as a result of the pandemic. So people now have choices to be able to move to locations where it's more affordable for them. They may even get more space. Space became a huge commodity over the course of the last two years as people started to work from home, teach their kids at home, school at home, and so on and so forth. So there was a lot of migration that's happened over the course of two years. And that's really what we saw as a, as a key highlight in the study that we just completed. Your study, I think that's your quick guide, how COVID-19 and remote work is reshaping the U.S. rental market. Tell me about that and tell me where uh, we can get a copy and see it for ourselves. Yes, absolutely, Valder. Um, First of all, you can um, access a copy of the quick guide from, uh, by going to uh, transunion.com. Um, so that's that's the source for the, the quick guide. And in terms of what's in the quick guide is really key highlights from, from a study, the study that I'm referring to that we did. Um, we looked at um, homeowners who've become renters. When we think about, you know, the hot housing market that we've seen um, over the course of past 18 or so months, we all know that person who um, sold their home because they had great offers on the table, maybe even above asking list price, and sold their homes, but they didn't go into another single family home. They went into rental housing to wait out the market before they buy again. Um, so these are populations that have now re-entered the rental pool um, that didn't exist before. So that's something we also looked at in the study. In addition to that, we also looked at cities that had the greatest migration out and cities that had the greatest migration in. Um, Texas was a large beneficiary of a lot of the migrations that happened over the course of the last two years, and a lot of those migrations came from California. When we think about Austin, Texas, for example, one of the city, uh, the, the sister cities to Dallas, um, Austin it tra- has attracted a lot of the tech industry. 
which has come from California. And that's really what's also uh, spurned a lot of the migration into Texas. Um, so we looked at those types of geographies and patterns. And in addition to that, we also looked at the impact of the immigrant population, how the immigrant population is going to continue to grow. Um, and what our study found is that the immigrant population tends to be in rental housing for an extremely long time. Um, so they're in that rental pool for, for an extended period of time. And with the immigrant population forecasted to grow considerably over the next few years, um, that's also going to fill that renter pool as well. These are all that's great statistics. That's fascinating. Can we go online and see, once again, the uh, guy? Can we go see it? The quick guy? Yes, yes you can, Valder. It's, uh, it can be sourced at uh, transunion.com. All right, then. I want to thank you so much for taking a look at that. We're going to head on over there because I find it very interesting about how America is reshaping itself. It really is. Thank you. Thank you. Hi, I'm Valder Beebe. I broadcast on radio, streaming TV, podcasts, and in print publications. I interview the world's most fascinating authors, all because I love a good book. This summer, I partnered with WPS for BB Summer Book Giveaway. We're giving away New York Times bestsellers and award-winning books, books that inspire me and I'm sure they'll inspire you. To be eligible to win a copy of Jesus Can Give You a New Life, answer this question. What is God's greatest gift to mankind? You'll find the answer in John 3.16 of the Bible. Send your response to the email at the bottom of the screen. I'm Valder Beebe, and I'll see you for the next Beebe Summer Book Giveaway.